Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy KGC Epic here and before we go into anything, I want to make one thing clear and this is not even one thing, just a few things clear and it is quite crucial, okay? First and foremost, the reason why I say it's a guarantee is because I had a really shitty PC in my past and I've done a lot of research online, a lot of stuff, uh, I've done a lot of shit just to know how to increase your PC's general performance because I'm talking like my previous PC had like one gigabyte of RAM it was like really terrible really really terrible to be quite honest uh, another reason why I'm making this video and, and, and initially didn't even want to make it I just decided to make it is because I'm sick and tired of how the current online battle in NSU and S4 is it's because uh, sometimes you join a session with one person and when you leave or they leave sometimes you end up joining the same session over and over and over sometimes 10 times because there isn't a lot of people playing online because some people are still having fps issues some people just generally don't play online of course but i think it's generally because of the fps issues people are fighting online because you lag if you're playing against someone who have who is running at 60 fps you know those guys that have the monstrous like pcs then they're going to be as 60 fps and you're going to be lagging and chances are you're going to lose but i do play it even though i lag slightly um you know it doesn't really put me out that much so anyways uh i'm going to get right into another thing and this one is very very important now what i'm going to show you if you refer to this video and another video i made a few days back if you do all the stuff that I'm gonna show like that I showed you in these two videos, your computer's performance will be more or less capped out. And if your computer's performance is capped out and it's at its absolute highest point and you still cannot play a game, then re realization needs to hit you that your computer cannot run this game. Okay? Now listen up. The first tip, tip number one. And this one was highly recommended on my part because I used to use this very, very frequently in the past. And this is Razer Game Booster, okay? And, you know, we generally do have haters. And I want to point out that no, Razer isn't paying me. And I'm not hyping it so much because Razer is paying me or something. It's just because it is a fucking awesome piece of software. Basically, what it does is that it turns off your processes and services in the background that are running idly and it can make you launch a game like without all that bullshit stuff you know giving it competition for the ram and what you can do is that you can sync your games uh currently i just have four games uh that i really play stronghold legends rainbow six siege smites and this uh you can sync your games to it and every time you launch a game the game booster it's not renamed to razor cortex but basically what it does you can automatically turn off the stuff all the processes in the background and let you run your game and as soon as you shut down your game it automatically turns it all back on and that is what's really awesome about this is that you don't have to always be boosting and restoring boosting and restoring uh another one that comes highly recommended on my part and it's simply because it is from the official company I'm running on a Dell Inspiron 15 3521, so I do have an Intel Core processor. You want to update your GPU driver. Your GPU driver is basically what handles all your 3D and all your visuals and all this sort of stuff, right? Uh, and there have been a lot of third party driver softwares that you know say they can do this. The one thing I don't do is like you know use third party driver software and the reason for that is simply because uh some of them if like the person is like a real amateur when it comes to coding and stuff some of them can download the wrong drivers and make your computer have errors and you may have to ultimately do a complete system restore and completely reinstall the os on your C on your pc in order to fix that issue another one is that a lot of them come free you don't have to pay for them and the reason for that is that they come with a lot of add-ons and hardware you know you download one thing but you end up installing like 50 different programs yeah if you download the official one this one is the intel driver update utility you scan, you download, you install, you restart, and you're good to go. 
okay it just scans your computer tells you what your computer needs and it stores it for you it's the same with the nvidia one i believe um i didn't really own a nvidia thing before but i i am pretty sure nvidia has a software that is quite similar and you guys don't have to worry about anything i'll leave a link for all my tips in the description okay now those are the two ones that are from official companies official official companies you know like big shot companies Razer and intel Razer is just like a company that more focuses on gaming and intel just does like overall technology and stuff you know uh i want to segregate those two because uh uh, some people may feel a bit more comfortable doing it with them especially if you're really scared if your computer is going to get a virus or not i am going to tell you that you, your antivirus might tell you that what you're downloading for the third party stuff is a virus but it's not a virus the reason for that is that it is unlicensed software it's not from a licensed programmer but you don't have to have a programming license to know how to program obviously just like you don't need a driver license to know how to drive okay uh basically if it doesn't have a license then your computer does not know whether or not it is harmful or not and it automatically classes it as potentially hard for harmful software or depending on what uh antivirus you have they might just class class it as a trojan and may automatically discard it you may need to temporarily deactivate your antivirus and some people are sketchy and scared I, me currently i don't even have my antivirus active right now you, like the chances of you being hacked or something with your antivirus being inactive is very slim like there are way too many computers in the world for someone to just pinpoint your computer i mean come on dude seriously and you don't have to worry about it i can tell you that these things don't they don't have viruses even though they might come up saying they have they don't now the first one i want to show you is a. Uh, this one here now basically it is not this dll file it is something called swift shader what it does is that it completely drops your your uh the the graphics for your games to its bare minimum and i'm not talking like the minimum what you can select in the in-game options like it drops it even lower than that and that really boosts your game's performance uh now this one uh i don't know some people may not want it some people may but i'm telling you if you're having fps issues and you really want to play this game then you may want to try these ones out another one is uh you want to turn in your v-sync now v-sync works for some people v-sync doesn't work for some people and that is understandable if it works for you if you see a noticeable difference once you turn on your v-sync then yeah and another thing is that some people in order they're trying to sell you know their uh, third party uh, custom launchers uh, you need your third party custom launchers to turn on your vsync you don't need any custom launcher to turn on to change any settings you can come to your config.ini file you can turn your vsync on and off even super sampling some people they want their super sampling and all that shit where is super sampling i think it's somewhere i think if it's not here you can just type in ssaa is equal to either zero or one simple as that you don't need custom launchers uh another thing is a custom launcher now this custom launcher is different from the one i'm talking about the one i'm talking about are the ones that uh you know give you a better options for your settings this one what this one does it completely turns off your shadow not just you know like in game you can only drop your shadow quality to low this one completely turns off your shadow and it also turns off a few particles and stuff like i said it's all in the description you don't gotta worry about trying to uh figure out which custom launch out of all the custom launchers that are out there for this game currently to pick okay another one is that if this thing doesn't work for you it is commonly understood this one is a is common knowledge uh a game that is run that is run in windowed mode usually runs better than a game in full screen mode there is this piece of software here called uh, borderless gaming this one right here what it does is that all games it can turn them into a borderless window and what a borderless window is is that your game is still in windowed mode but it takes up the entire screen as if it was in full screen but it does not put as, as much strain on your pc as if it was in full screen okay now i have another tip like i said it's quite a few because uh if you try all these and your computer doesn't work then i already told you right 
you right click you go to my computer or this pc you right click you go down to properties and you can use this opportunity to know what type of processor you have if you want to uh, update your gpu and your one then if you have to download the intel one or the nvidia one you can do this like uh, you can see i have an intel core processor um you come over to advanced system settings you go to performance i mean advanced the advanced tab obviously it's already there performance you come to settings and it will automatically be on this option here let windows choose what's best for my computer you want to switch that over to adjust for best performance basically what this does is that it turns off all the uh, visually appealing stuff that microsoft has added to the windows such as the arrow peak such as uh, animations smooth transitionings uh, all that stuff it's turned off uh there is this one option that is available in windows 7 but it isn't available in 8 and, and 10 where you can uh uh, windows 7 and down where you can switch your computer to basic windows design which gives it like a windows 98 design uh basically you will see a noticeable difference as you can see some of these uh tips or tricks or software whatever i'm giving you whatever you want to call it basically not all of them is just for the game some of them actually do increase overall pc and you PC performance and you can use them even though you're not using Naruto ship with an ultimate ninja stump 4 such as like Reza and uh, the one I just showed you back there now uh, um, I don't think I have any more for you guys uh, I didn't even like plan this video I was just like really surprised that a lot of people are still having FPS issues and it's been almost two weeks and I know it's like a really shitty experience because I've been in that place before and not everyone is like well oriented with computers like some of us are like some of us like for me personally i sit on hours just like researching stuff finding a new stuff like that that like thirst for more knowledge about just this general stuff that everyone has is some people just like to sit and play a game i don't have to worry about all this bullshit this is why people like me make videos and this is why i chose to make this video so if you're having more issues even though i told you guys all this stuff be sure to comment if i remember more stuff other than this and what i have posted up in my other tutorial vid i'll be sure to post up a fourth video if you're having issues with your vsync i do have a vsync a uh, video just addressing vsync alone i will leave a link for that in the description as well uh i will i will notify you guys in this video if i do post up another video especially to the guys that if this somehow miraculously doesn't work for them like i said most likely it will it's guaranteed like for me personally it should be a guarantee because it caps out your game's performance and it caps out your pc's performance so if both of those things are capped out then why shouldn't your fps increase right anyways be sure to comment be sure to like be sure to subscribe uh do all the sort of stuff and <laughs> i have to actually go and walk right now and i'm sitting now making a youtube video for you guys but whatever just like enjoy the rest of your day and continue being awesome people